But I'm just sorry, Danny. But I love the colour. Don't get me wrong. And I love you. But it doesn't last all day. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I don't believe it. Because I have it. And I'm, just, I'm sorry. But and I love your channel. I'm not giving out to you or anything. But it's just... If you're selling your product and you're like there's 15 year olds, there's 14 year olds, there's 13 year olds, do you seriously think that they can afford a 35 euro lipstick and you're going to tell them that it lasts all day long and all this crap? Sorry, <laughs> but you know, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's not fair on them because they think, oh my god, yes, a lipstick that lasts all day long, and it doesn't last all long, and they spend majority of their pocket money on a lipstick, and it's not even that good, because that's what I did, and I'm just kind of disappointed, but I love the colour, so I'm just going to... So, the first thing that a beauty girl made me buy is, of course, primer and this is actually a really special one because um Nikki, Nikki Tutorials actually got me into doing makeup like more glammy makeup and this is the Nivea Men Senses Cooling Poche Balm and she never stopped talking about this and she kept saying I was only five euro and I was just like so because I and she even like said that there was silicon in it, so it's really really good. Like it lasts all day. Like I even had one day where I had this on, had makeup on me, and I put up I put makeup on in the morning, and when I came home that day, my makeup was still there, and I was just like, what? But I haven't been really using this in a while. I've been using the Benefit one, but no one made me buy that. I just picked it up <laughs> but um yeah this is really good so i'm gonna put this on you now i'm sure millions of you know already what it's like it's just really sticky and just does the job it's a bit come on come on i know you're in there like there's loads of left come on i have to, i have to shake it Oh yeah, and see these beauty, the beauties. Hey, Frederick, it's a double spot. Like, come on, come on, Sarah. Did I really need a double spot? I only needed one. Not even one. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so that's how you do it. And just put it at back, and then. And it's really cooling as well, like it's so cooling. And it smells like men, so what more could you need? <laughs> what more could you want? In a product. And on my forehead. Now, I have never spent anything over 30 euro on a primer. I used to wear the MAC primer and that shit wasn't even that good. Like, okay, it did smooth my skin and all that, but I don't think, I think it was just a gimmick thing. But this just works the best for me and it makes my makeup last. Not all day, but long enough than it should. So, bargain, bargain for 5 euro. And it cools, it hydrates your skin, so why spend 50 year on a primer when you can spend five year fiver on this? 2015 all-time favorite product, of course, without a doubt, is gonna be my Nivea Men Aftershave Balm Insensitive. I found out about this last year. I don't exactly remember, but I believe I ran out of Patrick Star made me buy this like like that. He did a video with, um, the foundation is Georgie Armani Luminous Silk and just look how bougie this looks, like at the back, uh, wait, that should be at the front. 
<laughs> and the front has like that logo, their logo and then a name and just look how bougie that looks I want to like zoom in for you guys but anyways the story behind this um Patrick Starr did a video with Maddie Siegler her name I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right but anyways she's an actress I I never met her before but like she has the most beautiful eyes ever it's like they're gorgeous it's like why can I not have those eyes and um her face looks stunning and I was just like sold because <laughs> like I saw loads of people raving about this um foundation already but they didn't really like sold me on this they didn't like you know like impress me that much like okay they did look like a doll but like I just like for that price really like this is really expensive it's like 53 euros for a foundation but I have to say it's my favorite foundation ever now I want to wear this every day because breakouts this chick gives you breakouts trust me like if I wear this once and just there's a spot there afterwards and nah we don't want it but um if you wear it once every so often it's grand so and it makes me look like a doll, like I'm telling you, it just makes me look like a doll. So I'm just going to put the mirror here. I'm going to put the mirror here and just see. Now it is a bit dark for me at the moment, but who cares. <laughs> Take the Georgie Armani Luminous Look Foundation. I'm going to mix two colors, the shade number 4 and 5.75 and apply it with a brush all over her face. Okay? Okay? Whoa, oh. how do you do that? Oh, can you roll your R's? No. <gasps> That's how you pronounce my Instagram, Patrick Star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your nails are so good. Thank you. What else about me do you like? Your face. Oh, she's lying. <laughs> We're almost the same age. Yeah, right? How two. many years? Two? Just two years apart. So you were only born in 2000? Yes. Guys, she loves RuPaul's Drag Race. Who, who do you love this season? <sighs> Valentina. Valentina, Valentina, if you're watching, girl, hey! Hi, I'm obsessed <laughs> with you. <laughs> you speak Spanish? And it smells really nice. Like, just look at that. It doesn't even, it does, makes you look like you've no makeup on. And it's so silky and so smooth. Like, when my auntie and my mom tried it, they were just like, that's the smoothest foundation I've ever tried in my life. And it's right, it's a, it's the most silkiest, smoothest foundation ever to glide onto your face. Well, I don't know about ever, but it's the nicest foundation that I've ever tried. And it makes me look like a doll, like I can't tell you enough. Like, the nicest photos I have is me wearing this bit me wearing these this foundation put it on the other side see it's like <laughs> yellow but this was perfect for me when I was in um, Paris this is where I got it I got it in Sephora and I actually didn't know that you could get this in Dublin like you can only get this in the airport but I didn't know that until I came back from Paris and I was just like why didn't I not get this in the airport because in the airport it was actually cheaper like just look how stunning that looks the nicest foundation ever I'm just gonna put some on my neck Down here, blend, blend. I don't want to get it on my pink dungaree. Okay, that's better. I'm just gonna cover up these bad bitches. Yeah, just these, these bitches are very hard to cover up. Very big. I call my spots bitches by the way because they are bitches <laughs> okay so like it doesn't even um, it doesn't even make me look like i have makeup on like i just love it so much 
and then for bronzer also well I'm gonna put my concealer on first and um, no youtuber made me buy this I just I've been using this since I was 14 I like repurchasing repurchasing this repurchasing it ever since and I just I never tried any other concealer well the NARS and that was the one that I actually hate it just creases under my eye like mad and I don't know why and it looks so good on everyone else I just I hate it so much so I only use that as an eye primer but when I put it on my under my eyes it's just it's disgusting looking and I don't know why it does that to me but everyone else everyone loves it and I'm just like why <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to do this really quickly. I might even fast forward so you don't have to watch it all. I'm also going to set it with the MAC Light Plus. There we go. Take out my actually more foundation on my nose because my nose is really red today for some reason. So, for bronzer, this is a cream bronzer, shock, because I used to only use the powder, everything, powder, everything, except for foundation, obviously, and concealer, but this is a cream bronzer, and this is the Chanel Soleil Tan Days Chanel bronzer, and look how much I have left, like, it's so sad, I only, oh, don't do that. I only, like it's so sad. I only oh, don't do that. I only have this much left. <laughs> why? 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 Like it's just it's stunning. Like it's just it's it blends really well. Last all day, you look photoshopped. You looked bronze like a goddess and well well worth the hype and well worth the money the same as this guy right here so what i use i use i'm actually going to use my foundation brush for a change because i've rewatched them um, patrick stars um video and he used like a foundation brush and it looks nicer than using a powder brush. True. So next we're gonna take this Chanel Soleil Tan. How do you say this? It sounds expensive, girl. Soleil Soleil, Soleil, Soleil Tan Day Day Channel. <laughs> so next we're gonna take this Chanel bronzer and bronze her face. It's a cream bronzer. I'm just gonna apply this all over and make sure whenever you're doing bronzer to brush it up into the hairline and she went to Disney the other day so we're gonna make sure she looks nice and tan so it matches her body she's never her contour her nose so we're gonna give her a little bit of a of a cert surge really <laughs> I've never done it myself Ooh. and I'm just gonna buff this out I'm gonna pirouette this brush all over her face I'm gonna arabesque this brush on the other <laughs> side <laughs> Shanjima See, I don't don't get all technical on me, okay? Chasse. We're gonna chasse, chasse, and we gonna chante, chante, okay? <laughs> chante, you chante, stay. you stay. Mighty, mighty. I'm a nerd with makeup, but it's 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 a good way to do. And then for to set that powder in place, this is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Pro. Bronze Fusion and Hannah Renee. She is the star for this. Like she recommend this to everyone. I bet you everyone who bought this, Hannah Renee made them buy it because every time she wears this bronzer, it's so nice on her. But on me, it's not. It's nice, but it's not so nice. Do you know what I mean? 
but I still love it anyways and it has gold shimmers in it it's like a satin bronzer a sheen bronzer if you get me like a glowy bronzer but you don't really see it that much but it's just so smooth and so nice there's a swatch the brush that I use to bronze is the Dior brush this came with the highlighter that my sister got she doesn't know that I had this <laughs> but I'm just going to put a small amount because I don't want to ruin the bronze, the Chanel bronzer. It's never been look so good. I should use the foundation brush more often than this brush. My bronzer is on fleek today. I should use that foundation brush more often rather than this. But yeah, just look how healthy and glowy it kind of looks, even though it's a bronzer, and I just love it so much. It looks stunning on Hannah Renee, though. I wish it looked as nice on her as it does on me. It still looks nice, but you know what I mean. It doesn't look as nice as it does on her. But this is so nice and so smooth. So, that's the results. I've got this most amazing highlight though, it's Makeup Forever. Oh, oh it's so good, isn't it? So good. Oh yeah, I want to spray some fix spot. Oh, I just like put my hand the bristle. I was like, oh, I thought I caught you with the spray. How now? I'm using, why do I? Because For highlighter, also, she also got me to buy the Makeup Forever highlighter because. When I went to Sephora, I bought this because you can only buy this in Paris or America and you can't get this in Ireland. And not that I know of, I don't know, maybe you can. Maybe. Tell me in the comments below if you can't get these in Ireland. But, um, because this is going to be out today in summertime, so I really need to use them up. But this is a Makeup Forever Professional Paris in Sierra 1. Hannah Renee has CR2, but I was sold anyway, so I was going to get the CR2, but it was too golden for me, but this is perfect right here. Perfect highlighter ever, but um, it's just, it balled out like that yesterday. <laughs> but we, we don't mind that, it's, it's, it's safe enough. So, I thank you Hannah Renee so much for getting me to buy this. And actually, Maybelline has a dupe for this but it's in CR2 it's not in CR1 so I'm really really bummed about that but j just just look at that and guys I'm not wearing Max Soft and Gentle today because I don't know who got me to buy it I can't remember who got me to buy it I think I just got it myself because I'm such a Mac fan Mac makeup fan like, just look how nice and this is under the brow Cupid's look like, just look. And it's natural as well, like it's not too in your face, it's just gorgeous. I love it so much. And you can never have one highlighter. You have to have multiple highlighters on your face. You know me well. <laughs> this is the Glow Kit Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And Tati recommended me this. Recommended me this. Because she kept going on about it. Like she kept going on and on and on. And I was just like... Why did you love it so much? So like I really was intrigued to try it out and I'm not that sold on it but it's good enough. When I'm tanned it's like bomb.com but when I'm pale it's okay. But um, yeah I'm just going to use Moonstone and Summer. And these two are just like, <laughs> these two right here. I wish to cuddle with. Um, they travel with me now. I freaking love these. I can't even get over. Why did it take me so long to try these out? This compared to Tarte's new highlighter, which 
is good. It's a good one, but these are better. These are better. The Tom Ford one might be the best, but that's $108 for that trio. But look at these. Oh my god. Um, I even will use this pink toned one, Hard Candy, over top of a blush. It gives like a really pretty, beautiful kind of pinky highlight glow on the apples of the cheeks, but any of these are gorgeous. And you literally can take these pans out of this palette itself, throw it in a Z palette, easy for travel, love that. So big, big fan of these two guys right here. I don't really wear this that much, but Tashi made me buy it and I have to wear it. <laughs> Yes, like look at that glow. I should I should wear this more often. Now some of these products that beauty girl beauty girls made me buy, I don't entirely love. I just use often. And I know you probably think that was a waste of money. Why are you not bring it back? I love makeup too much. So I don't want to bring it back. <laughs> And like it's great for tutorials because you have different varieties of makeup rather than using the same makeup over and over again. People will get tired of that, like, you know? So I need new makeup and different makeup. Like I haven't bought makeup in two months. I'm really proud of myself because I used to buy nearly makeup nearly every week and I haven't bought any makeup in two months. Like what has happened to me? I don't know. Anyways, the eyeshadow palette, of course, of course, Jacqueline Hill herself got me into this. And it's a big, huge hype. It's everyone's favorite palette at the moment. Well, I think so, anyways. Maturities of people's. Hey guys! <laughs> I. I don't even know where to start. I feel like I'm dreaming because I've literally had so many dreams, good ones and nightmares about me filming this exact video. <laughs> so I just, I can't even believe I'm sitting here right now. I have been thinking about what I'm gonna say in this video for literally over a year. Like I like to take baths, like once a week I'll take like a bubble bath. And when I sit in my bubble bath, I always think about this video, like what I'm gonna say and just how I'm going to convey to you like the passion and the heart that went into this project. And now that I'm actually sitting here on camera and it's actually time to record, I'm just like, I just feel like it's like crickets. Like I have absolutely no idea what to say right now because I just feel so overwhelmed with excitement. The shade Faint, and this is the first shimmer in the palette because as you can see, these are satins and these start to get really shimmery. Like a little tiny bit goes a very, very long way. Like it's very intense, very metallic, just high beam all the way. Now we have the shade Sissy and I named it that because this is my sister's like favorite color to wear ever and this is the first duo chrome in the palette. So it is 50% gold, 50% pink, which is like a beautiful rosy gold. I love uh, It's just a perfect everyday, every night nice out. Just stunning, stunning palette ever made, in my opinion. The best number one, it should be the number one bestseller palette because everyone should have this in their collection in my opinion because look there's blues there's purples there's cream shades there's burgundy shades there's pinks there's golds what more could you have in a palette what more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use I'm going to use this shade right here, I'm going to, not that shade, this shade right here, I'm going to do a quick tutorial, I'm just going to put that into my crease, I have fake lash extensions on in case you're wondering, so I'm not going to bother pop mascara on. You can see that I entirely love that shade. I love it so much. Do 
Then I'm going to put that shade there on my lid and this is just the quickest, nicest look you can do. And everyone compliments me on it and it's just so, so nice. Like it literally only takes two minutes and everyone loves this eye makeup. Like in college everyone just goes, I love your eyeshadow. <laughs> I was like, thank you. It only took me two minutes to do. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to use these two burgundy shades. I just used that. I just go like that. Oh god, I miss this eye makeup look. I haven't worn this makeup look in a while. It just pops my eyes so much. And it's such a quick and easy look to do. And I'm going to put more of that shimmery shade on because we lost it. Like, just look how stunning that looks. Actually gonna put more burgundy in it. Just there. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it literally just takes seconds to do and it's just such such a nice palette. Like Chapin, congratulations. You make the best palette in the whole wild world. Like you have your golds, your burgundies, your shimmers, everything you need in a palette. I applaud you. No wonder it took two years. And now I, got, and now I finally understand why it took so long to make. Because it's the best palette in the world. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, what's the next thing? Brows, I got my brows done so I'm not going to bother. But the Rachel O'Leary got me into this brow. It's okay, like for 26 euros I wouldn't bother. I had sooner a cheaper one, but okay, yeah, my brows do look on fleek whenever I wear this, but I'm not doing it my brows today unfortunately because I just got them done and I don't want to ruin them, so that's why. Fix plus Rachel, you sold me on this. I, I, at the start, I didn't get why people hate it, like, liked it so much because I didn't like it at all. Like, it even gave me a mark one time and I got a reaction to it, but now I don't get a reaction to it anymore, which is kind of funny because this is the same ball that I purchased. <laughs> Maybe I was just having a bad skin day, but anyways. This is the Max Skin Fix Plus, and every time Rachel puts it on, she kept saying that like um, it gets rid of your powder, and that happens to me. Like my face, like gets really powdery, and I just really needed this in my life, so I'm gonna put some on now. Oh yes, yes, oh yes. <laughs> Like, now I understand why everyone loves this, because it's so, so refreshing. Mm -hmm. I, I, see, I was doing it wrong, that was, that's what was, that, that's what the problem was. Now I absolutely love this. Everyone needs this in their collection, 100%. And it's actually cheaper buying the big bottle than getting the mini bottles because the mini bottles are like 10 euro and the, this is 20 euro and it's 100 millimeters. So 
really, really nice. And I hear that they're doing, um, I need to blend this out. I hear that they're doing, I hear that they're doing coconut smells. I'm just like, yes, yes, my Paris has been answered. <laughs> because they're finally doing scents now. I'm going to wait till this is empty. I still have enough to do me for another month. And um, I'm going to wait. Wait. It's the best answer for everything. So to prep my skin, I'm just going to hydrate it using the MAC Fix Plus Spray. This is just the original one. You can use this literally at any stage of your makeup, before, after, during. It really just hydrates and refreshes it. I was lucky enough to work with MAC and did a Facebook Live with them all about this and the, the, the hacks you can do with this product. Honestly, if I could recommend just like one product that was going to work for everyone in this video, it would 100% be this. Plus, the smell is lit. So now for lip. I kind of regret buying this if I've been totally honest with you because it doesn't last that long trust me it doesn't it only lasts for like two hours and that's it and it wears off but I do like the color and the person who got me to buy this is Danny Mansuti now I love Danny Man Mansuti Danny, this does not last all day long. I don't know if you are made to say this or not, but this is like 35 euros. And I'm not being mean or intent, but you have to be totally, totally honest with your subscribers. Because do you seriously want your 15 year old to buy lipsticks for 35 euros? Because I bought this because of you and it does not, not last that long. Trust me. Now, there is a stain after two hours, but it looks disgusting, like it doesn't look attractive or anything. But I'm just sorry, Danny, but I love the colour, don't get me wrong, and I love you, but it doesn't last all day. I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I don't believe it, because I have it, and I'm, just, I'm sorry, but, and I love your channel, I'm not giving out to you or anything, but it's just, if you're selling a product and you're, like, there's 15 year olds, there's 14 year olds, there's 13 year olds. Do you seriously think that they can afford a 35 euro lipstick? And you're going to tell them that it lasts all day long and all this crap. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's not fair on them because they think, oh my god, yes, the lipstick that lasts all day long and it doesn't last all long. And they spent majority of their pocket money on a lipstick and it's not even that good because that's what I did and I'm just kind of disappointed. But I love the colour so I'm just going to shut up now and put liner to line my lips. And I can't wait to show you the lip product that I'm using because I honestly swear by it. Holy, holy, holy grail. And it's not the Tarte lip paint, I promise. I use it way too much. This lip product has changed my life. This is the YSL... Oh, I'm about to butcher this. Tattooge? Tattooge Couture Matte Stain? I'm so sorry if you're French and I just really offended you because I'm worse when it comes to pronouncing names. But this one is in the shade 7. I had a meeting with YSL Beauty. They gave me a few of their goodies to try. And then I went home and I tried this. And I cannot explain to you how much this has changed my life. Because I'm so used to liquid lipsticks, which look incredible for the first 10 minutes. But then dry your lips and make you feel like, ugh, horrible. What I love so much about this is that it is more of a lip stain. But when I say that, I mean, like, it actually looks like you're wearing lipstick all day. But you don't feel like you're wearing lipstick at all. That is the most incredible thing ever. This is the only liquid lipstick I've ever tried in my life, which does not feel like I'm wearing liquid lipstick, does not dry out my lips, and lasts all day. All day. It's lasted through dinners, dates, going out. It's lasted everything for me. So it is so good. And I love how the applicator is like a real straight applicator. It makes it so much easier for applying it on your lips as well. And I'm sure you can genuinely see like how incredible I find this product. Like, I can't even explain. Shut up now and put it on and just show you. 
because I did test it out and it doesn't last uh, long enough at all. So I'm going to put Caramax on me. Now I know what you're thinking. Red or pink, Sarah, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just... And what I like about it is that it's an easy applicator. Now I probably look really mad right now with pink eyeshadow, pink top, <laughs> and a red lipstick, but who cares? It's makeup for guys sake. Oh. Looks nice in the camera. So yeah, there are all my products that all the beauty girls made me buy and I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's really honest and blunt like me. I'm blunt. I'm a blunt person. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below because I will not pick you. Otherwise, you hear me? <laughs> and make sure that you're subscribed, you have my notifications on and I'll pick you if you comment. And it won't be just you, it'll be two others, so make sure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!